A huge night at a great stadium. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. It's Milan, and they face Sassuolo. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Milan's lineup looks like this. The goalkeeper is Ciprian Tatarushanu. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. Sassuolo starting lineup. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field, and rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. A potentially fascinating 90 minutes ahead of us, and Milan get the ball rolling. Calabria, Brahim, and the challenge halts them in their tracks. Fratesi, can they create something from here? The cross is on. Now well, the pass not finding its target. Traore. Oh, breezing past him. And the assistant referee has raised his flag offside. Rafael Leao. Well, he prevented it from going over the line. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Well, there to intercept. Sandro Tonali. Diaz. Calabria. Now Giroud. Can he do it? And a goal! 1 0. And what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal.
They've got it now, what can they do? Domenico Berardi. Oh, great attacking play. That's excellent defending following the cross. And a good take under duress there. And I think he'll be kicking himself, ruled offside. Well, his instinct should have told him he was offside there. He has to be more alert in the box. Rafael Leao. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Possession ceded by Milan. Loriente. Tonali with it. Leao. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Traore. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. High quality defending. Salamakers. The Rossoneri pushing forward with options available. Domenico Berardi getting in there to intercept. Loriente. Traore. Teo Hernandez. Bobega. Leao. And it might be. In it goes. Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So, 2-0 now. Well, showing good vision. De Frel. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. And after the cross, a tremendous block. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, no card, but I think he can consider himself suitably warned. Well, as those stats show us, Milan haven't controlled the possession. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. And a bit more defending on their minds here, I think. How about the cross? He quartered the attack illegally. Now, perhaps a card is forthcoming. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. And I think the threat has been averted. And really pressing their opponents. Good tackle, it'll be a throw.
almost at half time and they're making home advantage count I think it's fair to say Stuart your thoughts yes it's been a really energetic display from them so far the passing's been sharp the movement from the front players has been excellent and the finishing has been clinical they will certainly be happy going in at half time Grégoire de Frel Armand Loriente good work from the Rossoneri to win the ball back chance to do damage physically strong and secure on the ball but just like that possession changes hands Domenico Berardi Armand Loriente can he find the net superb block and a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened Bodies forward and the break looks on. Can they take advantage of the situation? Delivered into the box. And there it is! Another goal! And surely there's no way back from this now! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. So on with the game here, Milan accelerating away from their opponents, it appears. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Fratesi. Armand Loriente. What a crucial intervention inside the box. And there we have it. The first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, what a midfielder. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. A goal here, giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Brahim. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Can he finish? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Rogerio. Armand Loriente. Well, not giving the opposition a look in that's strong play useful looking position you've got to say well they've won the ball back quickly gives it a go and a body in the way oh fine play and maybe it'll set something up and now can he keep calm oh another one for them and with plenty of time still remaining this game is very much back on 
Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. Well, the action underway once more, and no shortage of entertainment. 3-2. And he read it superbly. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Now options are plenty. Can they square the game? Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Alexis Salamakers. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. From down here, it looks as though he landed actually on top of his elbow. That's why he's in so much discomfort, and that's why, of course, the bench are so concerned. Cheers, Jeff. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Leal. And space to cross it. Diaz. He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. It hasn't come to very much. Well, he's lost the ball. Rafael Leao. Effective pressure to regain possession. Oh, what an opportunity! And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. As you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Traore and in possession Rogerio can they create something from here Some possibilities inside the box and out for a Sassuolo throw in and they will make the change now He continues his run. Rogerio. Lopez. And they could get one back here. And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, how about this? 4-3. Giroud. Leal. Giroud. Well, decent save there. Delivering it. A decent effort, but the keeper read it all the way.
Diaz. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Davide Fratesi. Very quick thinking there. Well, in the closing phase here, and it's going Milan's way, Stuart. Well, going forward, they've been excellent, but they've also been too open at the back. They certainly haven't won this yet. Davide Fratesi. Agustin Alvarez Martinez. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Brahim. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Tremendous ball played through. And a goal! They lead by two now, and that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace, the keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Neither side shy about shooting in this match. Lopez. Five minutes to go. Davide Fratesi. Could be. And it's in. They've eaten into their advantage. And this is not over. Not yet anyway. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. And I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Sandro Tonali. And room to roam on the wing for Milan. But nothing comes of it. Jeremy Tolian. Berardi has it. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? And it might be. And a goal to level it up late on here. Just look at the reaction. Well, I imagine there were many who had counted them out. This has been quite the fight back. Milan still on the attack and the game's waning moments. Still level. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, but you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. And so the final whistle, and all is well for Milan fans everywhere. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team, and they deserve their victory. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well. 